So here we are at the Cowan Hardy Studios with Ian Waits, of course, the uh, Strictly dancer. But Ian, you're back with Mark Foster here. What on earth has made you do that? I am. It's a strange combination, I would say. But um, Mark danced on the um, Strictly Come Dancing in 2008, and he caught the bug, the ballroom dancing bug. Um, and he saw what the benefits were of ballroom dancing and we've combined myself, Mark and Natalie Lowe to create Fit Steps, which is a new um, dance fitness programme. Okay, and so you're blending uh, sport, i.e. Mark, dance. Strictly has become a, a phenomenon, hasn't it? And I guess it's cool to be fit these days and it's cool to dance. Well, that's the thing. Um, we wanted to make a, a programme which was made up of ballroom and Latin steps because we knew how great it was on the body. Um, so myself and Natalie went to work with making this programme, uh, which is now Fit Steps, and it's just sweeping the nation at the moment. We have um, more than 1,500 instructors, and, um, and Mark's input is, is invaluable because he gives us the nutritional and health guidance that we need throughout the programme. And um, yeah, it's been a great success. So the end goal, if you like, um, the, the, the objective ultimately is a fitter nation, but a nation dancing as well, because let's be honest, certainly before Strictly, people either didn't want to dance or couldn't dance. Mm. Well, I think a lot of, lot of it was people would wanted to dance, but never had the availability. With Fit Steps, you can go into any class, you don't have to have a partner, which is what you normally do. We do all the dances on Strictly, all the, all the moves that you know and love from the show. Um, and yeah, as you say, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get the nation fitter without even realising it. You know, that's what you want to do. You want to do something that you have fun at the same time as doing. And that's what we want to do. Combine sports with the dance and to create a fun fitness routine. Now, not every sports star wins Strictly, uh, although we just had uh, Abby Clancy, who's married to a sports star, winning Strictly. But uh, in general, they do tend to do very well over the years, Darren Goff, Mark Rambakash, Matt Dawson, the, the list is endless. Why is that? Well, I think the um, athletes and sports people have a very different mentality. They're out there to win, no matter what they do. Uh, I think we've seen that through the, the rugby players. They're, they're not the most natural of dancers, but they do have the will to win. And if you have that, and you have the, um, you know, you have the stamina to get through the whole competition, because it is very grueling, the show. It's three or four months of non-stop training and I think that the sports and the athletes are the only ones that really have that sort of mentality to go through the physicality of it and the men mental aspect of it. And the one thing that, that I've discovered speaking to a lot of the sports stars who have appeared on Strictly is that they all came into Strictly not really understanding how hard it would be and they all left with a newfound respect for the likes of yourself. Well I think also Mark um, Mark realised the fitness benefits, he, he lost weight, he toned up, um, all from doing a, a dance programme. And, and I think then he realised how effective it was. Um, and, that, and that's why we got together to make this programme. So Strictly, first saves the BBC, is now going to save a nation? Well, hopefully, hopefully from obesity, yes. <laughs> Alright, Ian, best of luck and thank you.